Hello everybody and welcome back to some more modded Gungeon. I don't know why I went m m modded there, but anyways, welcome back to some modded Gungeon. I'm gonna play as the Swindler again because I really enjoyed him last time. Also, I just watched Alexa's first episode using the Swindler and it almost gave me an aneurysm. So I have to play it myself because it pained me to watch him play that character. It genuinely did. Um, he... He did the the whole sunk cost fallacy thing. I've I've de sunk cost even not cost sunk cost fallacy thing where you get hit, you drop your money, so you try to pick it all back up, but in the process of doing so, you then get hit, and so it just it goes on and on and on until you lose all your money and all your health, and it happened multiple times. Also, he just physically was unable. Also, that was a bullshit hit. Um, unable to see these sacks and so many times he just completely missed them and oh my god It was very entertaining, but it frustrated the hell out of me and uh, never named has um, Has kindly informed me that this is basically what all of you Feel like about my content on a daily basis, which I find hilarious and I also am very sorry um, but yeah, it was it was it was a bit painful um, I I'm lucky I'm lucky in the fact that Episode 70 of the original of the original series of uh, oh I did miss a sack over there uh, of the original series of my Enter the Gungeon taught me well taught me well the sunk cost fallacy it's never ever worth it if you drop your money and you don't think you can get it back without taking damage don't fucking bother. <laughs> I learned that lesson very, very well. And for any of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I applaud you to go and check out an episode from my original series. It is episode 70 called Tragedy, I believe it's called. Um, and you will see just what I'm talking about. It was probably the most tragic death I've ever had on video. <laughs> it's probably, it's pro genuinely might be the worst death I've ever had on any game in a video. Um, it, it, it is truly something to behold. Um, don't do it to me, please. Could, uh, could I just once get a real one? Could I just once get a real one? I mean, it's still going to be a, a, a decent chest. We got ourselves the regular gun. Um... A gun designed to aid undercover cops by being inconspicuous as possible. The rounds it fires uh, can penetrate any defense by pretending to be completely non-threatening. Bullets penetrate shields, um, shielding moves, tables, doors, interactable walls, chests, and the boss DPS cap. Okay. For it being only a C tier, I don't imagine breaking the DPS cap is going to be that big of a deal. Also, um, I might as well buy the spring heel boots. Um... I don't imagine that's going to be that big of a deal, but you never know. But yeah, I'm probably going to play this character quite a bit. I really enjoy the character. He's really fun, and he's got the added benefit of just being able to use a lot more modded stuff. Because we're going to be able to open chests far more regularly. We're going to be able to buy from shops far more regularly. Uh, this character is generally a bit, power a bit more powerful than others, uh, but that means... I get to see more things and showcase more things, which is always a great joy, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of the Swindler. There's also another money-based character, um, I believe, that I haven't tried yet that's also new. should probably get around to trying them at some point, but for now, the best piggy boy, he is all that we need. Spring Heel Boots giving us the double rolls is kind of nice. Not necessary, but... I do like to be able to just get around a bit quicker, and it allows for that. I, I really think the actual double roll half of it is not all that useful to me, because um, I I'll be honest, anything that modifies your roll distance, roll time, the way that you roll, I think are pretty much terrible items. Spring Heal is probably the main exception to that, because Spring Heal doesn't have any negatives around it, but anything that changes your, your speed or distance, it throws off. My not like my knowledge and of where I'm gonna land and how how my roll is gonna work. So I don't like those sort of items. The spring heal. The only reason I don't like that as much is I just forget to use the second roll. That that's simple simple as that. Which doesn't make it bad at all. It makes me stupid. Um, we get whatever this is. The marbled Uzi. Um, 
Um, favoured sidearm of the Medusi, the fearsome Gorgon um, legend says she emerges from her egg already clutching its cold steel. Releases a stunning wave upon reloading, deals more damage to stunned enemies. Very, very cool. Okay, some good stuff so far here, some good stuff so far. Right, let's go for our boss. I could have re-rolled the Spring Heel Boots thinking about it, I didn't, don't know why I didn't. But yeah, I think this thing with damage upgrades could get really nutty. It's already actually provi uh, proving to be very, very good. I do want to try this out. This is definitely better. I mean, it is S tier, so it damn well should be. Also, very cool effect, and it has a shit ton of ammo. Which I'm very happy about. It also doesn't have to reload an empty clip. Any reload triggers that, which is really nice. Which means that I just have to quickly try something. Yeah, that, you, can, you can just spam it. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also get this bad boy. Don't want to bother going down there right now. I am going to go to the Oubliette, I think. Uh, and I think we just want to use this for regular combat for the most part. Hey, I love the fact that they cost 20 each. I like that. Uh, we should go and grab this ammo here for this just to top it back up again. Gimme, gimme. Back we go. And down we go. I could have traded some HP there to the vampire woman, but honestly, the money that we're going to get from her is going to be negligible cons uh, compared to the amount of money we're going to be getting in general. There is a slime room on this floor that's like, got multiple little little blobulons. I really hope we find that room because I'm fairly sure that will give us quite a few sacks. Um, someone left a, a comment in the last video that I played the Swindler on, I'm, I'm pretty sure, that basically said about... Um, the possibility of making it so that the bags that you get are based on the health of the enemies that you kill, which I think is a fantastic idea. Because one thing that I noticed in terms of the balance of this character is that, um, also this weapon is absolutely insane. This weapon is so good. Okay, I've, I've lost a lot of um, money at this point. I'll pick up what I can, but I'm not going to be that bothered by it. Um, but yeah, um... The, the whole thing with, like, getting... Oh, did it... Low, en low health enemies, it actually turns into stone. That is so cool. Um, the problem is, like, enemies with really low health still give a sack that's worth the same amount as any other enemy. So, killing a bunch of blobs, you get more sacks and they're worth more. So, it'd be better if it was based on HP, because then you would not have that issue. And it would also mean that if a big enemy managed to drop a sack, you'd actually get a little bit more out of it. Uh, which I think would be cool. There's a sack there, look. I'm really liking this weapon here. Quickly just check what this is. Gun Muncher. That is the Poco Loco. I'm fairly sure that's a beam weapon that is very crazy. I think I want it. If I remember correctly, it's one of the showcase um, items that we used. And I, th I don't think I want to bother re-rolling it. So, one thing that I've just noticed that I did, I, I thought, I didn't know was the case. This, this stun seems to have infinite range, it just doesn't last long. So really we ought to be spamming it. I think anything that could up our reload speed is going to be real good with this. Because not only is stunning enemies making sure we deal more damage to them, which is real nice. It's also making it so that we um, don't have to get hit by them because they can't shoot. They can't shoot us, so makes our life a bit easier in that regard. Got more money there. I hate diagonal dodging. It is the bane of my existence. There's another sack. Really, what I ought to be doing is um. Okay, it doesn't doesn't stun enemies that are off-screen. Good to know. I ought to be making sure I have a reload ready before I enter a room. I'm not sure how the sacks are dropped for enemies that drop in pits. I'm going to guess it just doesn't drop them for those. Like, we've still got over a thousand ammo left. It's just wild. So like this, for example, I fire a few bullets, or a bullet, come in here and immediately reload. 
I think that's going to be the way that we play this. But yeah, this gun we are going to be filling up constantly because this thing is very, very S tier. <laughs> Unfortunately, these turrets in the middle still take um, aggro, and my aim assist is being dragged towards them. That's pretty good. Immunity to poison and a health upgrade. Do not mind it. Do not mind it. We got shrine room here. Unfortunately, not a good one. But a shrine room nonetheless. I think that's give up a weapon and gain ammo. I can't remember what that is. Look at this money. Like, I get the gimmick of this character is meant to be that you're gonna get hit, so you'll drop a lot of your money, but it's like, <laughs> no. I mean, I've got a gun at the minute that means it's basically impossible for me to get hit, so I, d I can't really fairly assess at the moment. But, in general. My right, boss is here. Have we seen another chest room yet? I don't think we have, have we? I think we've only seen one. Those rooms are pretty good. Unfortunately, not a great weapon. It's it's fun, but it's not amazing. Uh, I'm going to take the Poco Loco. It is indeed a beam weapon. I'm also going to buy a full heart here as well, because why not? Um, let me just get a, a grip on how this works. Yeah, so this is just the absolute wacky blade. Um, I'm probably just going to use the Marble to Uzi, but I will give this a go. I think it's worth giving it a little bit of a highlight on the boss. Okay, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do all that much damage to bosses, unfortunately. But for room clearing, it might be really good. Of course, that the uh, the wave effect here isn't gonna be very good. Also, let's maybe try um, the regular gun. Hey, it's cool guy. Oh, that's just regular guy. A regular gun, should I say? Bosses are the worst places to get hit, really, because not only do you lose a flawless, but dropping your money is going to be very, very hard to pick up again. Unfortunately, I can't stun bosses, which, I mean, is balance-wise makes a lot of sense. But if I could, then I could maybe get in there with the lightsaber. And that tactic will still work on regular enemies. I just think it's a lot riskier. Whereas on bosses, I think it could be really good. Good, good. Took you out just fine, just dandy. Okay, we have a synergy with it, which is pretty nice. Um, being able to steal is an interesting development. Being able to steal is definitely an interesting development. Uh, we also got this. An ancient glass blessing per um, perverted by... The blah 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 technology. Um, crystalless split blood into glass. Okay, I'm guessing when I get hit, I get a glass one stone. If I was to hazard a guess. Honestly, if I can make it to the Abbey, I'll go to the Abbey. Why not? It's been a while. In fact, it's been a really long time. If it, if it can be done, I shall do it. Right, let's keep it going. This is, this is a very strong run. I mean, Swindle is definitely making it stronger, but I think the Marbled Uzi is really the star of the show right now. This is one of the best S-tier guns that I've used in a while. It's very regular. It's not too gimmicky. It's just a gun. But then the, the, the stunning plus damage versus stunned is, is just excellent. Like, the... The stunning would be enough. The damage versus stun is amazing. And I, I genuinely thought when I picked this up, it would only do the stun effect on emptying your clip. So I was like, ah, that's pretty interesting, but it's not amazing. The fact that it's on every reload makes it kind of absurd. Like a lot of enemies and stuff are just nullified completely. Right, 
Don't. I need to stop reloading when a room ends. We also got a new shrine here. Bestow your nothings. A shrine of nothing, you feel something is missing, or maybe it's intentional. I mean, I don't want to be holding a good gun when I do this. If this takes away my marble easy, I'm going to cry. You feel more... So I'm guessing what that's meant to do is if you have no armor, no blanks, no keys, whatever, it gives you whatever you've got nothing of. But we can't hold keys, so it did nothing for us apart from maybe give us some money. It's kind of an interesting concept, though. I like it. I'm guessing that can only show up if the conditions are met. Oh. I, I was like, what just destroyed those shots then? Was it my... Um, my Gorgon effect, but it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. Um, greedy Clips. That sounds fun. I'm going to buy... Mm. I think I'm going to buy this. Because that's just good. I think I'm going to steal this. Not that I need to steal it. Right, I'll look at what it does in a second. Greedy clips. Clips fill at the bottom. Bullets that are fired when the clip is empty cost double ammo. Um, okay, unfortunately, that's... It's very good. It's not very good for what we have. So basically, the idea behind that is you have an infinite clip. You never have to reload. But any ammo that you, that you fire outside of your regular clip size... You are going to have to, um, you are going to have to pay extra for that privilege. But, unfortunately, with this Uzi, that's actually dookie, um, because we want to be reloading as often as possible. So, it, it, it doesn't do much for us with this. But, in general, we could get some guns down the line that that could be very, very good for. Um, stuff like RPG grenade launcher. I can imagine if you don't have to reload those things, they, they could be pretty insane. This thing, we want to keep the reloads are coming, so... I have to be able to roll over these gaps. I am. It's very, very scary to do so, but... Need to be hitting enemies while they're charging up an attack so they don't actually get to attack. I really love the fact that it does a small bit of damage and can actually turn enemies into stone. That is such a bit of flair that is entirely not needed. The gun could have been absolutely fine without that. But the fact that it has it is just gorgeous. I've made a mistake. and oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. The reason I was like, I've made a mistake is not because I thought I was going to get hit. It's because if I dropped money there, it was gone. If I had dropped any money there, it would have been gone for good. Look at that. It turned two of them into stone. That's just so cool. I absolutely love that. And then that guy, I can just stun lock into not being able to actually fire. And then we got one of these. We got some popcorn. Popcorn. Come get your popcorn. Uh, and each enemy killed adds a small chance for shots fired. Shot. Each enemy killed adds a small chance for shots to fire two to four times the number of projectiles. Wow. That sounds awesome. That sounds really, really good. So good, I'm gonna crap myself. Also, we just we just got infinite HP again. We literally can't die. Uh, also, I should probably put this on the altar before um, before I forget to, because I kind of forgot we were holding it. So my bad, I guess. I'll be honest. I'm pretty lucky, because I didn't even really consider the fact that I had this, and I went the entire floor without getting hit, so... Call me a mastermind? I don't know, but I feel like I deserve it. Right, we've got a mini-boss here before the actual boss. Uh, this thing's going to just annihilate the mini-boss regardless, so I'll just go for it. It's not going to stun, of course. But yeah, if you if you see any of them green shots, they heal you. And they can happen quite a few times. Um, so not only do they not heal you, if you're on full health, they give you a damage increase. It's obscenely, obscenely overpowered. 
Um, it literally makes you invincible. There's there is almost no way to die. Um, thank you for that. Whatever this is. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh wait. Oh, I can keep fire. Okay, th this is this is a gun where not uh, having to reload is pretty good. Although the reload on this isn't exactly insane. I'm trying to see if there's other guns where it would make sense. I just, let's just try out the pox can. I just want to see how this works. That's so cool, the infinite clip idea. That is such a genius item. I absolutely love that. Right, on to our actual boss. We've got a bit more of this to go for. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just, it's just, we don't have anything that really rocks the house with it right now. But it's going to be pretty good. Remember, we don't really need to do the whole reloading thing with this. Ooh, it's nice to see that the, the um, Gorgon's Gaze effect actually stuns the turrets. Easy. Easy. Right, we got the dart rifle, which it's okay. It's not particularly good. Um, right. Let's go back to our shop real quick. And re-roll this. That is most certainly unintentional. I just got Gondromeda strain for 30. I'm not quite sure why these have re-rolled into items. That is quite the mistake. One second. Okay, so that's uber broken. I've just passed that along. Um, Gunsmoke perfume. I'm going to take that as well. Why not? I'm unsure what's causing that. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure. Well, yes, that's broken. That is not working the way it should. Um, and that's causing some crazy shit. Because if we can pay 15 to turn a key that would normally cost 30 into the Gundromeda Shrine, which would normally cost around 100, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. Um, we're going to have to abuse the hell out of that this run, if plausible. I should have been goddamn bartering earlier. If I'd have known that, I could have got so many more shops of use out of this. Right, um... Honestly, it's... Eh, let's, let's, let's use the repeat evolver for a little bit. This thing could be fun. This thing... Do you know what? Um... Load... Level... Abby. Excuse me? Rugun Abbey? You literally just told me it does exist. What are you talking about, game? Oh, cause it's because I didn't put a fucking E on it, you goddamn dullard. Stupid idiot. Can't spell little stupid fool. Yeah, I forgot to go to the Abbey, so let's go to the Abbey. I apologize. I didn't even clear our rooms. I feel it's valid. It's been a long time without the Abbey, my friend. My most vivid memory of the Abbey floor, because I, I very rarely go to this floor, so like my, my most vivid memory of this floor is um like this is um, coming here with the night shovel and just spending, like, a ridiculous amount of time on this floor. Uh, let's, let's try using this thing in rooms for a little bit. Um, it's just spending a ridiculous amount of time on this floor. Um, eh, I don't think, I'm okay. I don't think I want anything to cares me right now. Just um, grabbing ammo pickups and uh, turning them into pickups on the floor. 
by shoveling and digging. Diggy diggy hole. You know the whole deal. Yeah, this thing kind of booty. It's not getting me where I want to go. Use this thing for a little bit. It, and I'm fairly sure it said it had piercing, but maybe it was just piercing on objects. Maybe it's not piercing on enemies. Bullets per- okay, yeah, okay. Um, I see. Okay, here's it into- here's it, like, going through walls look. That's pretty good, the fact that it goes through walls like that. It will not pierce enemies, though. That is my mistake. But, I like the fact that it pierces through walls like that. I will say, unfortunately, we do not get aim assist through walls, obviously. So it's a little bit hard to aim. It's not all that bad. Hello, shop. I would like heavy bullets before I buy anything else, if plausible. So I'm going to leave that for right now. I really hate rolls like that. They scare the shit out of me. Uh, why is there a fridge on this floor? Can someone to explain to me why there is a fridge on the abbey? Oh, I just realised I haven't been reloading a lot of the time here. <laughs> I've been wasting a shit ton of ammo. Whoops. Because obviously normally I just spam click and it will reload for me. That's no longer the case. Um, hello? A golden key. A shiny golden key found the walls of the abbey resonates with power. These, the directions are written on it. First to the layer of the bottom, bottom bothersome rat. Then to the great cell beneath the hollow. Then to the heart of the forge. And finally, to the void of bullets, your destination. To the void of bullets. Is that bullet hell? Well, at least we know something new now. I should, um... Hello? Are you alright? What the fuck? Uh, I lost a lot of max HP here also. Um, did you steal my key from me? You very much did. Okay. Okay, we've learned something new here. This is something that I'm gonna have to look into more deeply. Because I haven't heard anyone else talking about this yet. And that seems new. Just... I should have a lot more max HP than this. Where did all my- I'm guessing taking the key took away some max HP from me. Which, I have to admit, is a bit fucking rude. It took all my money? Now I'm just depressed. I needed that. I had big plans. I needed to do some bartering. I needed to buy heavy bullets. I had 63 when I went in that little secret room. I'm gonna need some bags, and I'm gonna need them fast. Y'all boys better be dropping bags, because I have bank to be spending. I'm using the big boy gun, because I need things to happen. I hear saw blades. Damn it, no sacks. Unfortunately, I'm getting kind of unlucky here. Can't even open my chests. Whoever made that key, please, please return to the hole you came from. And do not steal my things again. No, it's fine. I, I, I jest. But still, that was a little bit fucking rude. You took, like, all my hearts off me. You took all my money off me. I didn't have any keys, so I don't know why I said keys, but I still, I, I don't really agree with that, I'll be honest. That was kind of heresy, but it does mean that we have to come back to this floor and we have to do all the things it said on that key, which I think the the other thing that we'd have to do before this is get the rat key. Um, and we also have to go to the, um, the other floor. Um, and by other floor, I mean the 
RNG department, which I haven't been to in a really long time. I'm really hoping one of these little fellas drops me a, a good bit of cheddar. Oh, no bag. Come on now. No bag. Dog, I have to say. Pretty happy about that. We have managed to get to an okay amount of money here, but not really the amount that I was hoping to get to. Hello. Grant one sign of mastery. The shrine of the holy chamber seems like it's missing something. Choose one. I mean, I'm already pretty low. Forgot it took away all your armor as well. Bollocks. Although that might make this thing kind of crazy. We'll have to see. Fucking <sighs> amulet. Why? Right. I I could take the heavy bullets. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal the heavy bullets. Right. Let's go. Try this thing first. The glass thing was maybe not the best choice. Considering I've not fought this boss in a really long time. I don't have any blanks left either now. Bollocks. He's dying pretty quick. He's also going entirely for my uh, decoy here, which is good. Bollocks. Oh god. I mean, I do have healthy bullets, so I should be okay. But he does also fire jammed bullets that can kill me in a single shot, so... Let's not hedge our bets. The Urple. Oh, look. I would have money to open this. If only this game wasn't a greedy bastard. Taking all my... Goddamn hard-earned money. I'm so annoyed about that. My hard-earned cash. And you steal it from me. Right. Let's keep her going. We have taken a pane of glass, which was honestly regrettable. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I didn't really realize that that thing would just be like a shop. That gives me less choice. But it's kind of it's kind of nice, kind of nice thing to have. I wonder if that always appears in the abbey, because that would be an interesting idea. If that's like an incentive to go to the abbey, it kind of shows how long it's been since I've been to the abbey that I had no idea this sort of stuff was there. Probably should have done. Probably should have known that. Probably should have known that. But yeah, um, as long as we don't get hit by a jammed enemy, we are. Absolutely in the clear. Also, I keep forgetting that ammo doesn't get stolen by the rat anymore. I should just leave it. Um, we are absolutely in the clear because we get hit by one enemy. We just carry on and then take a take a healthy bullet. Where's that damn cat? There you are. Good, good, good. Oh, bollocks. Really could have used that. I'm firing so many bullets because of that, um, that item I got. Well, let's leave that there this time. Because of that item I got where I like it when I get kills, it increases the chance for me to fire more bullets per shot. Seems to have been a very, very good uh, grab. This this gun has just stolen the show. Absolutely stolen the show. I'm annoyed I didn't get to abuse the bartering mechanic a little more. But, kind of is what it is. Like my last real flaw to take advantage. Money. Money, money, money. The damage of this thing is obscene. I mean, you got to remember that, like, we, we just got a huge damage increase of, like, 2.8 times. 
from the uh, the glass pane. Still. Hey, cat bullet throne. Kind of beautiful, honestly. Cat bullet throne's really nice. Gives you a bit of flight, a little bit of a way to do some attacks. God damn, it's just an absolute storm of bullets with this thing now. See, RPG was one of the ones where I was saying that no reload makes it pretty good. It uses ammo quickly, but it does make it pretty good. Okay, so once we have 15, let's just go in there and reroll everything, and then we can see what we can steal. So let's get Barter ready. We need 15 to do that, though. Ah, oh, we're not even going to get 15. That's upsetting. Really? You instantly do this, you cock? That is just savage. And I get hit. Not that I could have had the mess around anyways, but still. See the amount of green bullets this guy's firing? All of those healers. It's just redonkulous. You should get like one to two of those bullets per room. Not like a thousand of them like we have right now. Because you got to remember that not only do those bullets give us damage ups, which last for the entire room, I'm pretty sure. But also, they're healing us. It's, it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And they, they stop the bullets from hitting us too. Oh, hello. Don't know how good this would be. Uh, anything we want to we wanna jam down this? I think there is. Oh, we have the cell creep this floor as well. I should, I should actually um, utilize the cell creep here, wherever he might be. Don't put... It, the cell creeps behind this door, isn't he? That's not that's not funny or fair. Okay, no, he's behind this door. That's fine. I'm happy now. This gun's actually pretty 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 amazing. Okay, um, RPG, you you were good to me, but I think it's it's better that we sell you. You can be sold to. You can be sold to. You can be sold to. Honestly, you can be sold to quite a lot of money, but there you go. Map man, I can actually afford you now. Missing no, nice. Not bad, not bad pull. Right, and then we barter, which again, it did work. Um, prismatic Gungeon Stone. Apparently this thing's broken with this character. Um, so I'm not going to get that. But Raiden Coil. Interesting. The dog problem. It dropped my barter. Um, for some reason. Shouldn't be able to drop barter. Okay. This is... Strange. Okay. It just created another dog. Oh lord. How many dogs do I have now? Just three? I would like to charge this up again and use it more, but that ain't gonna happen, is it? Right. I guess I'll also steal this, because why not? Let's get out of here. I didn't even mean to buy the Wisp in a bottle. It just kind of happened. Right. Let's get going. There's ammo that I left on this floor as well. I apologize. That is my feeble small brain getting confused again. But yeah, Barter's, barter's kind of broken right now. It wasn't doing that last time we played him either, so definitely a new issue that's been introduced. Certainly problematic. I'm guessing stuff was blacklisted before and for some reason the blacklist isn't working now. 
Um, because yeah, I would 100% blacklist keys, blanks, armor. Um, there's a few things you can blacklist. I'm not exactly sure what's broken it. Either way, we'll head down to the forge. But yeah, now that now that I've kind of got the pieces of the puzzle together with the the whole golden key sparpy stuff. So there's the golden key. There's the opal. There's the diamond that's on this floor. There's probably something on the rat floor by the sounds of those questions, and there's probably something on the R&D department. And then I'm guessing we take all of those to a specific place in Bullet Hell, likely a secret room, based on the fact that that last one was a secret room, and something happens. Apparently they've been very secretive about this so far, um, which is why I've not heard anyone speak about it or mention telling me to go to the Abbey. Um, I honestly don't even know if it's something that's finished yet, but it's probably something I want to try and look into at some point and, and figure out, because it could be, like, a new boss, it could be an item unlock, um, it could be a new floor, yeah, I just, I have literally no idea. I'm, I'm thinking if it was a new boss or floor, it would have been more strongly hinted at it, because I feel like, regardless of how secretive you want to be, if literally no one sees the effort you put in, you'd be a little bit, a little bit sad, so... I'm going to imagine that it's not anything that big. But, also, you never know. You never know. Maybe they're just lying on this incredible secret. A glass curse. So this thing... Oh my god. I forgot that the sax fucking zoom. This thing is absolutely insane. This thing just... It's meant to do really low damage, because we're firing all the extra bullets, and then on top of that, because, um, because we have the, the glass modifier, it's just doing insane damage, and also the shots bounce around the room for a very long time. I feel like we're going to want to be using this for a while. See, w one thing I do have to say... I really do like the, um, I really do like the idea of this, this greedy clips thing where you can keep firing. What I don't like, however, is, is the fact that normally the way that I fire is just by spamming shoot, which will then automatically start reloading for me. So quite often I'm not realizing that I'm actually expending ammo that I shouldn't be. Do you know, I just walked right into that one. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even going to pretend that, that that was anyone else's fault but my own. So, unfortunately with this gun, I'm kind of using a lot more ammo than I'm intending to because of this new mechanic, which is a weird problem to have. I wouldn't even really say it's a problem, but... There's another enemy all the way back here, isn't there? God damn it. Okay, good. Go away with this thing. I don't want anything that resembles a burr. Anything that resembles a burr, in my book, is automatically garbage in this game. There has never been a good burr. Many have tried, and many have failed. The closest thing to a burr that isn't even a burr that I like is the sling. And like I said, that isn't a burr. But yeah, we are expending so much more ammo than I intend to, because I keep forgetting to manually reload, because I don't normally have to manually reload. Normally, I get to the end of the clip, and it just starts the reload for me because I click the fire button. And that is unfortunate. But, for the convenience of not having to reload, it is kind of nice. Not having to reload is lovely. It just means that I'm spending twice as much ammo most of the time. One shot that guy. Get wrecked, big boy. Table tech guy, I, I'll be honest. 
You're not that useful to me anymore. So this is the diamond room I was talking about. So we had the mysterious key. We have the opal. We've got the diamond. And I imagine there's a few other things. And then we've got to place all of these in a secret room that's in bullet hell. In order to uh, complete some sort of sequence and unlock something. Like I said, I'm not really sure what to expect, I'll be honest. Farpy has been very secretive about it all. But it's been in the game for a while now, and I don't think anyone has known about it yet. Which I feel bad about. I just never go to that floor. Rusty bullets. Um... We've, we've had these before. They're pretty good. Um, a resourceful whistle. Can't be stolen. One summons the rat to steal a gun from an enemy and then bomb it afterwards. This can uh, uh, only steal... Uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty decent, but I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. I kind of want to barter and reroll everything. Let's see what we get. Um, thanks. I'm not sure if you noticed what happened there, but it re-rolled everything about a thousand times. And I lost all of my money. And they all re-rolled into trash. So that was good. Vorpal bullets would have been fun, but I guess not. I guess I can't have nice things. Armor there to keep me going. Good. Witcher shop here. Okay, empty. Maybe start using this now. This thing seems like it'll wreck people. Can maybe afford vocal bullets after this. We'll see. Probably just want to use this on this guy. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't directly fire at us most of the time, so we're not really getting much out of the wooden dude. But in that situation there, it was pretty nice. Basically, I want to be putting it, like, here. I missed out on that blank there. That was a bit stupid. I really should be trying to get hit by the green shots just to get the damage bonus. That was an easy dragon. Nice one, dragon. I gotcha. Also, just out of curiosity, I have to see what happens when I take the diamonds. I, ca I can't. I don't have the health for it, so I can't. Damn it. I had to see if it would work. <laughs> I was really hoping having two glass would uh, would be insane. Unfortunately, it is not. Um, right, so. I think we go for Vorpal bullets here. I could just steal them, to be honest. Oh, wait. I can't afford them. I will just steal them, to be honest.
Right. Let's use this thing and go. Down to bullet hell. I do want to see if it's a secret room on bullet hell. It said the bullet void, which isn't bullet hell. The only bullet void I can think of is, like, the bit that I was just in before I went to bullet hell. The whole area around you is maybe the bullet void. Just jump into that and it'll take you to, like, a special room or something. Potentially. It's really hard to know. Because... It could be a secret room in bullet hell, but that would be mighty hard to find. And I'll, I'd also be surprised if I hadn't found it yet just by accident. But goddamn, this thing has stacked to the point where we're firing so many bullets as well. Goddamn hate this room. I missed a sack there, but it doesn't matter. We don't need the money for anything anymore. Honestly, the stun on this floor is going to be insane. An extra blank helps as well. See, just interrupting enemies' attacks, it just completely stops them in the track. Let's just destroy everything. Vorpal Bullet's the first time it's triggered. I knew the gun with this mag size it wouldn't be triggering very often, but I thought it'd be at least a little bit more. And there it is. Even a half ammo is so valuable with this gun, because it's very ammo efficient. Which is surprising, considering how fast it fires. But all the extra bullets it's firing make its ammo efficiency go up quite a bit as well. Now that's a lot of sex. This is one of the rooms I was talking about for like gaining money early. I think this room can appear on multiple floors. I just want to see how much money I can get at this point. I don't need any of it. I realise I'm going the wrong way at this point, but it's fine. You see, it came it came in use kind of. I didn't I never actually looked at what that what that pheromone stuff did, did I? Charms enemies when you get too close. Okay, it's decent. I never actually looked at what that was. Like, look how many bullets I'm firing. Two, three, five. Kind of crazy. Let's try this thing out with, with the synergy. Maybe it just makes it automatically charm on hit, which is pretty good. I don't think it normally charms on every hit. Shit, what is this room? This room is just all the bullet kin, isn't it? All the bullet kin, fellas. Hey, hey. The room is literally shaped like a bullet kin, so I'm not surprised. Come on. Don't be a bitch. 
I think I was standing too close to him. Maybe it increases our radius of charming when we're near things. Although it's not charming any of these guys, so maybe not. It's hard to say. These Slimageddon rooms are getting kind of annoying. It takes forever to get through. I say forever, that one, that one wasn't that bad to be honest, but still. Hello Shellorax, you're gonna get absolutely creamed. I think you drop ammo as well, which is going to be very kind of you. That you do, that you do. Also, more armor is very good. You can only have a limited amount. But still, probably should have left some on the floor. I don't, I don't know if it gets stolen, I can't remember. But yeah, this item that, that's giving us more shots, it's kind of like um, platinum bullets in a way. Scales on the enemies that we kill. Top the shotgun there, haven't been able to do anything. Here it is. We went the right way first time there. I think we're pretty we're pretty good here. I'm going to keep reloading, not for the uh, reload effect, just so I don't accidentally keep wasting double ammo. Right, first phase is done. Woo! This has not been that bad. been a true hour of gaming. There are quite a lot of blanks to play with here. Beautiful. This gun has just been the absolute star of this show. I mean, this this has just been a very powerful run in general. We had the glass panes, Gundromeda strain, all that bollocks. I know that I'm going to lose a lot of money there, but I don't actually need it. I'm just greedy. There you go. Lovely. Very easy victory. I hope you all did enjoy. And yeah. That has been a very, very fun run. Swindler still proves to be the best, best piggy to ever there be. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.